video, I'm going to be showing you how to use MemberPress with WP Bakery. First, I've created the simple yearly recurring membership. And I've created a rule here that is for partial content specifically. Next, I selected my WP Bakery membership for this rule. And I have this page to show you how it works. So let's start by editing with WP Bakery. First, I'm going to add a simple row element. With the row created, I'm going to add some text. Now in this text block, I'm going to create content that I only want my active subscribers to my WP Bakery membership to be able to access. So let me type that in real quick and save. With that saved, I'm going to go into the row settings, or in other words, the content block settings, and go to the member press tab. Here, I'm going to select that membership rule that I created earlier and leave everything as default and save. Exiting out, let me show you what this looks like for a user who tries to access the content who doesn't have a membership. As you can see, they are shown my default unauthorized message that I've set up in MemberPress. Let me show you some of the other settings that this integration allows. So going back into these settings, I'm going to select hide instead of default. What this will do is simply hide the content. This is useful if you have other content on the page that you want to be shown, but other content that you want to hide, but you don't necessarily want the user to know. The other option you have is to display a custom message. So, in this section here, you can enter any custom message that you want a user to see if they don't have an active membership to your membership specified in your rule. So, going back to the content, you'll see that that custom message displays. Now let me register for this membership that is granted access to this content based on the rule I showed you earlier. Submitting that payment and this registration form, I'll go back to that page. And as you can see here, I can see that protected content. That's it. Thanks.